Hello everyone, this is Caleb Simpson, and you are watching my Let's Play of My Industry, or Ministry, however you want to pronounce that. Continuing on the campaign, this time on the final mission, which is going to be Nuclear Production Complex. Now, I did debate on which one of these two to do last. You can kind of do them in any, any order. This particular one is a defense mission, and I like it because it lasts for a long time. Or, like, you have a lot of room. I think there's a lot of uh, opportunity to really, like, stretch the resources as far as possible and, like, ramp up and get to the end game technology. Like, a lot of the other maps are kind of, like, really awkward to do that with. This one is like perfectly suited for it. So this is going to really highlight a lot of the coolest aspects of this game or like when technology actually gets super awesome. I've been ending a lot of the other missions pretty early, but I, and I'll fast forward through a lot of this, but I'll probably play this for, I don't know, at least a couple hours. We'll see how long it takes. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to, to get to all that end game stuff and show you guys all that stuff. So here we go. The final mission of the game, Nuclear Production Complex, where we have Thorium and all the other resources. Here we go. All right, so I'm in this like state of shock here because uh, I I don't know I was like envisioning we uh, my friends and I like totally played this map like crazy for many hours and we moved all these things around found all these efficient paths to move resources after like shuffling things around a lot we always started out in this bottom corner apparently it made my starting position different this time which is interesting I wasn't expecting that I have to like rethink how I'm gonna get everything here uh, you know the one thing that's kind of cool about this setup at the moment though is there is water right and sand right here. Um, Maybe I can bring some of this coal over here for steam, at least initially, anyways. So maybe I, I can make uh, my extractors or whatever, or uh, yeah, maybe I can start doing this right now. I start out with a little over a thousand copper, mm -hmm. so like we can utilize some of this little space in here. I need to start working on uh, getting graphite as soon as possible. For now, just route all the coal to one location for now. I don't need this copper, it doesn't matter. That thorium might be used, though. Let's uh, let's get rid of these. What is a thorium reactor? So this will give me titanium. Is why I'm grabbing this. Yeah, they're done building. So go like that. Now those will build. I don't see any more coal. Okay, so I have all this this coal heading up. Um, I need some of it to head to. Man, there's like not a lot of coal. Like I don't even know. I'm gonna have to make coal. The interesting thing about this map is I need sand and I need water and coal, like, really bad. Uh, but now that I have access to thorium and stuff, I can make oil extractors. Uh, the problem is it takes a lot of power. So the, the deal with this map, basically, what it all boils down to is you need power. So if you can make power, then you can... You can create sand and, uh... Like, some water and stuff. Like, water extractors will give you water. Oil extractors will give you oil, but then you can just um, turn that into um, coal and stuff, so you can get power that way. I might even be able to just defend it against it with myself, though. I wonder if I can complete this before they even start spawning. I don't know if they'll, like, just keep walking this way if their ball's not built yet. Oh, I don't even know what happened there. Oh, am I, I'm out of copper. Oh, no. Quick, guys, get mine copper. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's... <laughs> that didn't matter. It's just one dude. I know it's a big... a big wall, but the thing is, like, once I get dudes with a bunch of range on it and stuff, then what'll happen is, as soon as they appear, all these will shoot. So, it's... it's actually to my advantage that it's like this. Mm, you know, this one's not... these aren't even gonna be shoot. Like, what's the range on this guy? See, like, these far ones aren't even shooting. So I think what I'll do is I'll get rid of those. There we go. Okay, we can just ignore that for now. I guess my air is going to be, like, here and here. And then I... Wow, okay, so look at my coal. My coal is doing great. So I think I can even... I don't have any silicone yet, I don't think. Oh, maybe I do. I started out with a little bit of silicone. That's great. Yay. Okay, so now... I should have tons of power. We'll let this do its thing for a bit. Um... I think I'll go and finish up my anti-air here in a second. There's only one enemy, so it wasn't a big deal right now. See, I always expect it to be, like, worse than it is, and then it's fine. My experience playing with my friends has been that bad things happen if you should stop paying attention. Now, I don't actually know, I don't think air is even gonna head this way. I think they're gonna go, they're gonna go this way, over to the left. Ooh. Okay, I'm out of resources. So, let's just get lead, I guess. See, I need more. That's the thing. I'm, like, running out of everything. But, uh, this is all kind of a beginning thing. See, once again, they bumped me and I said, stop mining. These, I don't really like the whole air collision thing anymore. It's, like, super annoying. 
Oh no, it's gonna make me click on every single one of these, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. My tower's got that. See, you know, like, my experience with air has been, like, if you let it get past into your base, it's awful. So I always, like, overdo my air. I mean, I guess I do overdo all my defenses, but, um, it's, like, this takes a little bit of time, but it's not, honestly, not that bad. Like, what's annoying about it is part of what happens is if air gets through, they'll break, like, they'll break, like, a single chunk of supply chain, and they'll go over here and break this, and they'll go over here and break this, and, like, what ends up happening is you don't realize what's broken until later. You're like, I don't know, like, you realize eventually that you haven't had silicone for 20 minutes, and you're like, oh, no, and then, like, you're super far behind, and you're trying to, like, play catch up for a while, and you're trying to figure out where the problem is, and you don't even know. And uh, that's the kind of stuff that happens all the time. Let's see what the, where the range is of this. All right, so now I have healing over here, um, so that'll heal all this stuff. Uh, okay, next thing I need I need graphite. So is maybe I can even change. Well, just let's finally consume all that, just so I don't waste. I could destroy this, but I don't want to waste all that coal. So there's silicone. How much energy does a pulverizer take? Uh, pulverizer 30 power a second hmm okay well um, let's let's just do it so here's how this works um, here's a thing you haven't seen yet so you can take scrap and you can throw it into a pulverizer which takes energy and it creates sand it doesn't create very much um, but it does create some and there's there hasn't been a need for that yet but this map doesn't have any sand or rather it does, it's just in an awkward location. So there, here's the deal. This is the only sand and water on the map. So I could do something like this, an air blast drill right here, and then give it water so it pumps really fast and then send it out and it would give me like an entire conveyor of sand. So I can do that. Uh, the power on this is 180 power uh, versus a pulverizer costs one power per second per scrap. Now it only consumes power when it's uh, actually using or when it's actually got scrap that it's putting into it and stuff so it doesn't it's not using power all the time um, but it does consume power so the thing to realize about this though is like so basically a full conveyor of scrap will use will use 30 power per second which honestly is not that much uh, but anyways I could turn all this into sand so the reason I'm looking at this I'm gonna have to use this at some point I have to use this scrap so I can either use it to get titanium, or I can use it to get sand. Um, maybe this is weird to be using this for... I don't know, maybe maybe I'm just being weird. Do I even need to do this right now? Maybe I'll keep doing it just because I've been talking about it, but... Uh, eventually I'm going to need a ton of titanium for power. And that'll make sense in a little while. I think I'm going to need more. Yeah, there's no way that this will work. Okay, so let's actually move this. It has to be at, just like any kind of production building, you have to have it have a conveyor going into it otherwise if I put it right next to this it'll fill this with sand too that's bad so pulverizer bam bam and then what we can do is you just go like this rotate it back so now it's putting sand on both of these I might need more than this we'll see in fact let's do like this I want silicone really bad oh yeah see I totally need more more pulverizers I think actually off the top of my head I think that it's actually like uh, that you can do six of these. Maybe I'm mistaken. So I'm gonna redesign this again. Okay, so now I have a whole bunch of sand. So here's part of the funny thing about this: is this if this clogs, then these won't consume power, so it's totally fine. Um, so there's all that. Now we can have copper or coal. Excuse me. Um, same thing. And then what we can do is go like this. Bam.
Alright. So I think what I want to do, though, is do like this. Or maybe even, uh, have it overflow gate to this. There we go. So if it can't go into this, it'll just go over here instead. Uh, that actually didn't quite do what I wanted it to do, though. Um, but you see, I don't, I don't really have enough copper. Um, but here's our coal. Uh, but what I can do is I can route water over here. What's my power looking like now? It's over a thousand. All right. Um, I think this is a pretty big patch of coal, actually. Okay, so this will supply water to all these. And then these bros can just pop off of here. There we go. So this one's only going to this side. This one's only going here. Looks like it's fine, actually. There's not too much coming out of this one. Uh, but now it's it's they're all putting it into here evenly. Okay, so I'm totally utilizing all this perfectly. Um, and there's all that graphite and silicone stuff. Now, it's not quite as much um, like coal as I would like for this. But uh, it's pretty decent. Leave enough room that I can expand if I want to. There's more scrap over here. My power usage, I'm actually not sure. I wish it would show like how much is being consumed. It doesn't really do that. I wish there was like an expanded thing I could pull out or something. Or even like what is used on different things, like drills and... or You know what I mean? Or maybe I could like have a drop down that shows me different buildings so I could see pulverizers versus other things. Like what's being consumed per second. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as it gives me some idea. Um, and I can, just for the sake of being safe, I can beef this up. I guess like these. Like this is actually better. You know what I mean? Like this is actually in range. These ones over here are not even, so those ones are kind of in range. This one isn't. My sand is like pretty good on this. I'm actually not sure how much power this is even using. Now, now I'm definitely not, one thing that's worth noting is I'm not using even remotely all the scrap that I have up here, so I have more scrap than what I'm consuming on sand. Um, another thing to know is I can actually turn sand into power, which is another interesting thing that I haven't done yet. Um, so an advanced tactic. Um, so scrap can eventually become power as well. Um, it is a little bit odd. It's not normal. Okay, so this does the same thing. And what we can do is just go like this, make it follow. So, you know, this costs 30 a piece, right? So I have 12 of them right now. So I'm using like 340 power or whatever it is for all this. Assuming they're even firing all the time, which they're not because they're they're getting plugged occasionally. So this actually isn't really using all that much. I'm only using 300, which... So I'm using one steam generator. One steam generator is providing the, uh, the power for all the sand, which is like, all right. Um, and I guess that is technically... Like, this is technically... It's, it's elaborate and it's double kind of what a, a single air blaster would be over here, I suppose. So that is a thing, um, but it just is over... I don't, I'm just keeping this nice and clean so I can... I'd rather grab a bunch of water. I'd rather use as much water as possible and have pipes going everywhere, boosting everything. I think that would overall be more beneficial. It's sort of weird. It costs a lot of medic glass to do that. Um, this is actually working out pretty good so far. They're all They're all full. One thing I'm not sure about, I think it's actually five, uh, five silicone things is actually what, oh, here we have air now. Okay, so they go a little, they're a little bit higher than I was expecting, so I guess I need to make this more, like, up here. See, the thing about air is what happens is eventually they just kind of, like, you, you shoot them and then they go, eh, and they run away. So they could, like, run away and then just go, like, over my ground defenses and blow it all up. So if I need some anti-air here to, like... I don't know, I'm trying to ping-pong them back and forth, is kind of what what I want. So I might even eventually, like, instead of having them this close, it might be better to actually move this back a little bit, because if I can have the air defense, like, up to here in a straight line, or even curved a little bit, like that, then that would actually keep them contained a little bit. So rather than, like, running this way, I don't want them to run up, because then they'll just go around. I want them to run back towards the defense. If I can get them to, like, go back and forth, it'll almost be like a funnel, like, get it curving like this. And that would be better. For air, anyways. Air is weird. I don't know. I don't sometimes I don't even understand why games need to have air. Oh. Um. I'm full anyway, so it doesn't matter, but. Alright. Okay, so sand. I'm actually running out of sand. Um. So I finally ran out of scrap, is what happened here. 
Now, I can boost the- and the same thing, it's just like everything else, like, I can boost just a little bit of this. And that's kind of the funny thing, like, oh, I'm running out of sand, let's boost it with an air blast drill, but if I just use an air blast drill, I can get all the sand I want, so... <laughs> okay, maybe I should just have one. Like... Okay. Um, let's go ahead and... I don't actually know what the status is of these, I'm assuming they're... They're over top of thorium, I actually can't see, so I don't know what's going on. Yeah, see, they're not even- that one was over two. That was a huge waste. If I spent all the power on that, it would have been bad. Does this need- this needs thorium? Ooh, I'm getting thorium for this vault. Interesting. Hmm. So, um, I think this will actually be more worthwhile if I do something like this. Well, you know, here's another thing, though, too. So, those are not any more efficient than any other drills. Oh, wait, this- wait, it does say it's higher. I don't know. Well, is that per- is it spread out over the tiles? Like, this is four by four. Like, what does that look like? Calculator, 0 0.21. So it's, according to the math, even if it was per tile, this is still more efficient. I don't know, my friend was telling me this is this is just as efficient as a laser drill. But that doesn't seem to coincide with the math I just did. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a lot of thorium. Eh, eh. Uh. I don't know that I'll need any more than this. <laughs> this is a lot. This is going to be like enough for two or three. Maybe that was silly. Maybe I shouldn't have been doing that right now. Because I need power for all this anyways. I mean, it, like, here's the thing. I only have a 600 some power. And these take these take 180 apiece. So I'm not even going to be able to afford a lot of this. All right. Let's bring thorium to base. Base. Let's move. Let's route it all around behind. Just so it's out of the way. Alright, there's thorium. Um, probably eventually what I'll do is I'll move all my silicone production to something down south. We'll see. Bam. That's all great. Okay, the defenses are wonderful. So there's thorium. Um, I was trying to utilize all this. This can all go... Ooh, no, 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 no. There's more thorium over here. I don't know that I care. This is a lot of thorium. Well, then again. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's very high. But then again, I don't have it boosted with water yet either, though. Oh, speaking of which, actually, what does it even cost? Oh, plastanium. Oh. Okay, well, that's worth doing. I mean, I was thinking plastanium is kind of like, man, it's not really that important. You don't really need it for anything. But if I use it for overdrive, that's amazing. Okay. Um, let's see. What do I need? I need sand pretty bad. What am I missing for this that makes it unhappy that I can't build it? Thorium? Okay, so once thorium gets here, I can start getting some other things. I guess I'll get sand over here. I don't really want to. I'm going to have to do something else for power because this just isn't good. This is just bad. What do I need for thorium reactors? You need thorium and you need cryofluid is it. So that's actually pretty easy. Oh man, there's power right here. Wish I'd known that. I mean, it's not much, but it's something. Maybe I'll just leave it down here or like not connect it to my grid because I can use it on other things. Oh, I need to redesign them. This is not where I would want it anyways. I want to use the scrap to turn it into sand. Gives me a lot of resources, I guess. Probably gives me thorium primarily. Get rid of all these these snowballs. They offend me. Actually, for power right now, maybe that's, I probably should just do this. Let's just use all the all the heat over here. So this is not. I actually think that thermal generators are not very. They all cost thorium or cost metaglass. I can't do that. Ugh, metaglass is constantly being my bottleneck at the moment. So I need to just work on that probably. Graphite and silicone. You know, honestly, graphite and silicone are fine. Let's just do this. I need power. I just need some power, like, so this will, uh, take care of a lot of stuff. Oh, really? Am I out of silicone? Titanium? Oh, titanium! Uh, I never did do titanium. Okay, uh, yeah, that's, that's a good point. Is do a big drill. Well, no, I can't, because I don't have, <laughs> I have titanium to do it. I need the titanium just to even do that. I'll just do it like this for now. I'll, I'll do it like this and I'll replace it in a little bit. And I can't even make titanium belts because I'm out of it. I just recycled everything. I wasn't even thinking about it. Yeah, titanium is one of those resources where, like, you need it real bad and then all of a sudden you're fine. And it, I mean, well, it's just like any resource, I guess. If you just overproduce it, then you're fine. So I'll let that do its thing for a little while. I need to get this, though, finished as soon as possible. How much does that even cost? Probably not much. Five. Yeah. Once I get five titanium. 
But this will instantly give me a whole bunch of power. I might have to disconnect some of my resource production, though, to give it enough power to actually do it. So if we do something like this. It's all my silicone. And we can get rid of this coal Oop, temporarily. There we go. So now all the power is, is focused over here, making that other power. So now I have thousands because it got fired up. So reconnect all these drills and everything. Uh, I guess silicone never got disconnected. Why is this? It's, it actually isn't in range. Great. I don't have enough sand still. So this is kind of sad. I still need metaglass too. That's what I was working on. So what'll happen is that we'll just spit out sand. Wow, is that really? <sighs> Seems like it's not as good as it could be. I don't know. All right. So I need plastanium for an overdrive projector. So my power is great. Like, let's look at this. So it's 2,000 power right now. Uh, okay, heat, heat. I was gonna make. Oh, that's right. I need a metaglass to do that. <laughs> uh, metaglass is important. I have to have it. So now that I have lots of power, I'm not too worried about pulverizers anymore. Um, so I have power. I can make tons and tons of stuff. So, for example, I can use air blast drills on scrap. It, it's sort of weird. Like pulverizers. Here's kind of the funny thing. Pulverizers don't. I tested it out. I tried doing, like, connecting a a drill to, like, just having drills and then having pulverizers surrounding that and then having these guys touching, the, the conveyors touching the pulverizers. So the pulverizers would only fire when they're filled with scrap. But what I found was actually, in my tests anyways, was having all of the drills go to a single, like, go to a single location where it's splitting it up and then it goes into pulverizers. For some reason, that seemed more efficient. I'm not sure if it's my imagine. I did a test a bunch of different ways with a bunch of different drills at different speeds on different chunks of scrap on a test map just to see. And for some reason, this was better. I don't know why. Like, drills going off into conveyors first with scrap and then going and splitting into pulverizer was better than having the drills go directly into a pulverizer is what I found. Um, but I can try this again. Um, pulverizers, they don't cost much. I think it's even just, it's just copper and lead again. So it's cheap. It doesn't cost anything. It's free. So... Um, it costs power when they fire, but it doesn't cost fire just passively sitting there. Alright. Oh, titanium. I probably should have focused on this titanium first or something, or even other titanium, I don't know. So, now I have all that, which is great. You know what? Honestly, let's go, let's, let's go a similar path to, uh, all this thorium up here. Let's just make it all go on the outside. Oh, I don't have the titanium to support the titanium! Yeah, I should have done titanium a long time ago. I just didn't think about it. I was just re I recycled so much stuff, so I didn't need it for a little while. And I could do a regular conveyor temporarily and stuff, but I don't want to. Can I, uh, by the way, can I just, like... I know this seems weird, but this will actually boost my speed. Yeah, see? So I picked them all up, so now I'm out again. When I pick all this up, then when I come back, I can build instantaneously, because now I have 30. Uh, I mean, this is, oh, did I just throw it on the ground? I think I did. So once I get this connected, I can't even, like, merge these two conveyor belts, too. Like, make this belt just go over here to the left instead. I'm not, act one thing that's weird, I'm not actually sure what the uh, limitation is on bridge conveyors. So, like, I might even, it might even be better to do something like, even though this is weird, to do something like this. And my reasoning is to just to make sure that everything can distribute. See, like, I'm not sure if that... I think that actually did boost the production. A little bit. I'm not sure. It could be just because the water is still ramping up. In fact, it's almost not enough water pressure, which makes sense. I have it going to all these two. All right, um, I'm feeling I'm going to ignore this heat entirely, but okay, now I have titanium. I need metaglass, like really bad. What I was thinking is I can do just something like this, be like, because the thing is they only like cost power when they're actually firing anyway, so it doesn't matter. This is just copper and lead as far as cost, but then what will happen is now these are producing sand. So instead of going to scrap and then luring it somewhere else and then making pulverizers, I'm just placing the pulverizers right here. Now, like I said, though, in my tests anyways, it seemed as though, I don't actually know for sure, it seemed as though this wasn't as efficient, and I don't know why. Um, but I'm not I'm not too worried about it. I'm just kind of like trying to do it right now. 
Um, and it could be that they patched that out or whatever, made it made it actually work properly. So it's, I could be just totally mistaken. Uh, and I'm totally willing to uh, be wrong about this. <laughs> um, but that has been my experience. We Lots of pulverizers, yeah. This is like stupid. <laughs> or really dumb design that I have here. Okay, so now I have all this lead and sand at long last. So, kilns. Kiln. Okay. Um, what I think I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to route it over here to the left. And again, what's going to happen is all the drills and the pulverizers will only consume power when they actually fire. So if they're not firing, they're not going to consume any power. But you can see how, like, I know it's unloading right now, though. It's part of the thing. But you can see how, like, this actually is pretty efficient. It's working out well. If Once I add water, this will get even more nuts. Um, but now I'm firing these guys. These have power to them. So let's bring all the metaglass up. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually... What I just did is I made a place where product can shoot over here and it will unload it instantaneously onto this belt. Assuming there's enough space. And then if the base is full, it'll launch it. Now this launching, so it is just filling this up like crazy. Uh, what I can do now too, fun fact, is I can d disconnect the power to this, this thing and it'll still receive items, but it just can't shoot them. But you can only, a uh, mass driver can only be either a sender or receiver anyways, so it can't send more than that. Any I, yeah, it, it can only be one or the other. So because I disconnected power, it's actually fine. It still functions properly. So this just is always unloading. Um, it does anyway. If you stick a, a conveyor belt touching it, because it's receiving from another one right now, it's currently connected, um, it will always unload. But I'm just telling it to only unload metaglass on the side by using these unloaders. Now the reason that's cool, in fact, actually, this is this is a little bit redundant. I can get rid of one of these. Um, two of these will fill up one titanium conveyor completely. Let's see how it's emptying out all that stuff. Now, what's cool about this, here's why I did this. I can do the same thing over here with a different resource. So I can be like titanium, for example. And then I can do like this. Um, let's just say I move this over. Bam. So it's like, it's kind of this nice little thing. So the reason that's important, you have to have uh, some kind of overflow because if this gets full, then this will get clogged and then all of the resources you're sending to a single mass driver won't work. Uh, but anyways, the cool thing about this is you can use a single mass driver for multiple resources. Um, what's cool, it's, it's better used for not really main resources. Main resources are probably better on regular conveyors, but uh, it's more for like crafted material. Like this metaglass is a great example. I don't really need a lot of it for the whole map. I need it. It's important. But I don't need like billions and billions of it. Um, Silicone's almost like a little bit too much, but say like metaglass, plastanium. Um, thorium is kind of weird. You can use a lot of it. Oh, speaking of thorium, I need to finally connect all this stuff. I still don't have water to all this stuff either. I might just do bridge conveyors. I think it doesn't matter too much. <coughs> uh, my voice. I've been sick. Like, I got sick, uh, pretty sick, like, um, oh, I don't know, several weeks ago, like, really. Uh, it was, like, two and a half weeks ago, whatever, but ever since then, I've had a cough, and it's just, ne like, I have, like, stuff in my throat that I'm coughing up, um, so I just, like, have to sneeze and stuff, um, but my voice is kind of the biggest thing, like, and I'm, I'm also singing in a band, and, like, I, it's just been awkward, like, my voice is all, like, like, for one thing, uh, my vocal range was super deep. I was like doing the, the Grinch song, you know, you're a foul one <laughs> uh, a while ago. Ah, ah, ah. All right, at long last, I have water going to it and everything. Wow, look at all that though. Oh my goodness. Uh, that is what I expected to happen, but <laughs> uh, okay. You know, I have not, it's wave 16. I haven't looked at this in a long, long time. Looks like it's fine though. Ground units are just getting pwned. What I might do though, upgrade all these. You know, actually what I should be doing, this is silly, I should be doing thorium. I have tons of thorium. But yeah, I've been like semi-sick for a long time. <coughs> and it makes my like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like when you're talking and like your voice starts getting more like weird and you have to cough to make it sound normal again. Uh, so I've been doing that. I don't know if uh, air units have been blowing up these walls. What's their health look like? Looks like they've punched it a little bit. Its health is actually really good. So looks like this lead is like more than enough to take care of all the air for now. Uh, what I might do, just for the sake of ridiculousness, <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? Let's see the air survive this. 
Like, it doesn't matter. I don't even know. Like, it's just, this is so much firepower. Just having more. It's so, like, it's all pathetic early game resources, but um, this is just going to pwn it like crazy. This is such terrible defense, or, like, the, the routers are terribly inefficient as far as... At least right next to each other. When routers are touching each other, it's bad, is my understanding. Um, it doesn't load very fast. So this is bad as far as... It's not a very efficient way of loading ammo, but... Um, well, I don't know. I mean, it flows in there instantly. It's, it's instantly filling it up, so I don't know. Maybe it's just, maybe it's fine if it's loading from one direction. It's definitely not as fast as uh, overflow gates, for sure. Like, like I guess, as an example. If I did this instead, it would be better. So you go bam, bam, bam. So one of the things that's weird about that is it's prioritizing... Oh, what happened here? Because it's full? Wait, what happened? There you go. I don't know why it broke. Uh, what I could do, too, just for the sake of showing... Bam, and bam. Okay, so now what happens is stuff goes into this vault, and then it unloads. I have two unloaders because it's the capacity of a titanium belt. Um, so that will fill up a titanium belt completely by having two of these. It's kind of weird. One unloader only unloads at a speed of about three quarters the speed of a titanium conveyor. Uh, but anyways, what's going to happen is this will just sl very, very slowly produce all this, and then it will fill up this container. This holds 300 resources, or 1,000 or something? I'm not, I think it's 300. So hold 300 lead, and then it'll just be like, kaboosh, it'll make a, a full conveyor all at once. So as soon as these use ammo, it'll be like, filling it all up really, really fast. Um, but yeah, this is, in fact, actually, I think technically, this is even faster. Now, I can't do that at these corners, obviously. The rest of them I can, though. Um, and what's funny about this, too, this is actually kind of another method of uh, increasing the capacity. Each one of these these uh, junctions actually have a capacity of uh, 10 units, I think it is. So they're actually holding um, lead as well. So the reason that's cool is because when these run out, this will just be like, and they'll instantly unload and fill these up. So this is technically another way of, it's like a poor man's vault, I guess. Okay, um, so I just made this, like I made my anti, I, it might not seem like it, what I did is I doubled the, or even triple the amount of anti-air towers I have, but I made it so that they, their ammo doesn't run out at all. Um, this will, even though this is like terrible, terrible lead, it will steadily fill up. Like, what are we at now? Hey. Show me. Oh, it's still filling up, that's why. It's empty. Or actually, let's not. Mm, well, that's fine. Yeah, let's, let's leave it. Yeah, let's rebuild it. Let's just keep wasting resources going back and forth. It's great. Let's put it right next to the coal. Just so it's pretty. We like things pretty. Okay, now this needs to be powered temporarily. Just to get it to receive. And now you can disconnect it. Well, whatever. So now this is sending titanium. Too much titanium, in fact. Looks like anti-ground is fine. But yeah, I think my defenses are fine for now. It's just kind of funny. Like I've been using copper defenses like most of the game. <coughs> There's that copper again. Alright. Oh, wait, wait, what's the power? Wait, my power's negative? What? I mean, I guess I am dealing a lot of air blast drills and stuff. Now, part of what's said is if I run out of... If these don't get enough power, this could just stop, and I will stop producing power entirely. So, that could be bad. Looks like it's catching up slowly. Okay, this will get me started for now. I need to kind of work on power production now. I'm just spending way too much time on air blast drills, so I'm consuming. I mean, here's the thing. Like, look at how many air blast drills I have. Like, I have whatever. I have, like, 20 of them or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Like, these, these, each one of these cost 180 power. Or 17. Whatever. Tons, tons and tons of air blast drills. Plus all these pumps. These cost 90 power, I think. Or Oh, there's another one. I don't know if I counted that one last time or not. Regardless, I, I'm using a lot of power. And then these are, whatever, 108, 105 power a piece. I think all the pulverizers, too. Like, I don't know. I have a lot of stuff going on here. Because it's just, you know, each one of these is 160, whatever. This is probably, like, two or 3,000 power, at least. And it doesn't cost all that many resources. I think that actually is... I think as far as the resources that go into it compared to other power, it's actually pretty expensive. It's kind of like solar panels. Like, it's a big cost investment, but the amount of power you get from it is just kind of okay. However, this is just static. Like, there's no other resource requirements, so it just is generating power all the time, which is great. So it's a very stable power that uh, doesn't matter. Like, one of the reasons that's cool is because, like, these ones down here, 
if these um, pumps like stop the water extractor stop doing their thing, then all of a sudden all my steam shuts down, and it's bad. Uh, these meanwhile are generating power all the time. And like another thing to know about that, like these, you have the cost of all of the uh, generators, whatever, the extractors. So those generators, even though they're produced, wow, actually that gave me a lot more power than I was expecting. Hmm. All right. Maybe what I'll do, you know, it doesn't hurt anything. Maybe I'll make these two. Like I wasn't planning to. But maybe that's actually a good thing. Because if they produce a pretty decent amount of power, then uh, I, if, I, if I need to blow them up later, I can. But it doesn't cost hardly anything. It looks like it's mostly costing graphite, is the thing that's unhappy at the moment. It looks like it's fine. Uh, the other thing I was looking at is just how far they're going. Like, if I'm not doing enough damage to even... Ooh, see, look at that. What is going on? They're not, they don't have any ammo? Really? Like, okay. Bam, bam. Oh, it's... Oh, the bridge was going the wrong way! Oh, no! There we go. Look at that! Oh, man. That's so sad. It's been like that for a long time, apparently. <laughs> okay, well... That's sad. I think it's kind of amusing that I'm just... This is still, like, literally the crappiest tower you can make, you know? <laughs> that's what I'm doing. <clears throat> okay, well... That's all great. So this will finally defend against air like it's supposed to. Uh, this is starting to not do good enough. And uh, I'm not sure... I guess what I'll do is I can replace some of these with uh, Lancers. Would be, the, would be the, the answer to that problem. Okay, so that'll boost my damage quite a bit. In fact, you know, something funny about that is I think I can even... Yeah, look at that. Let's just replace all these. Another thing I can do, too, is I can actually replace these with salvos. Salvos also can use copper. They do a similar damage, but their range is a lot better. What are these? What's going on? These are unhappy? What are they unhappy about? Salvos. Graphite. Oh, really? Oh, you know what? I still only have tier one gra- Oh! <laughs> right, when I was moving stuff around. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, that's a problem. If I wait for a little bit, I can boost my graphite production a lot. So I need 175. See, I always, I always, I always hit this bottleneck every map that I play. As much coal as I can send through here. Now let's do, just for the sake of being super sure, I've, I've had issues recently with uh, some of these bridges not producing as, as much as I would like. So I think what I'm going to do... Okay. I think that's better. I think. What we can do too is we can break one of these temporarily and just see. So like once this all fills up, this will take a little bit because then these... It, these things, Here's what I was talking about earlier. These bridge conveyors need to fill up. Well, okay, I'm not getting enough coal, so there's that. That's a thing. So this isn't really the best example. Regardless, I have graphite now. Well, ish. Again, it's the same problem where I need more... You know, honestly, do I even need this power anymore? Do I need coal for power? So this is 320 apiece, but they're not even getting coal all the time, I don't think. Oh, wait, why is this one not getting coal? Oh, no, wait, there's... Wait, why is there titanium on this build? What the heck? That's so sad. These have been... There's been titanium blocking this the whole time for a while. Must have accidentally done that at some point. Um, you know, I'm not sure that I even need this at the moment, so let's just go like that. Alright, I think this is all good too. It's sort of weird, like I'm not sure that I really need- like I have way more sand than I need, so I'm not sure that I actually need air blast drills here at all uh, for this, but I will use sand for oil probably later, so that'll be good. My defense is a lot better now. So salvos, I think the deal is they actually, they just unload ammo faster, so they're much more bursty. Um, so I don't think they necessarily do more damage per se. They do more damage per second, but they you consume ammo faster. So I'm not sure that that's necessary. like for a long sustained fight, salvos are bad, I think. I'm actually not 100% sure. Uh, this is looking great. The unfortunate thing is this is spitting it all out over here. Um, like, it's trying to put it all in. It's prioritizing this belt. It's because there's more surface area here, so these aren't actually unloading at all. 
is kind of a bad position for this. There we go. Yeah! Okay, totally full. <laughs> Alright, well that's fine. Um, so titanium is great. I'm going to use tons of titanium on this map, like, lots. Okay, here's those, here's those mortar dudes. I wonder if they changed these guys. They used to have a different attack, I think. I, I'm pretty sure that was, they changed that unit. It, instead of a mortar, they used to be like like the salvo shots. They'd be like, brr, 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 and, but they had really far range. Now they actually look like they do splash damage instead of single target, which I think is overall better, actually, because it disperses the damage more evenly. Um, so it's not blowing stuff up as suddenly, is why I say that. Okay, um, next thing. Uh, plastanium, I guess, huh? I'm going to need titanium and oil. Now oil, you can get it a couple different ways, but the easiest way is to use an oil extractor. Oil extractors take sand, actually, ironically enough. You take sand and water. So if I... In fact, I think I just have a couple different different ones in here that do it. Like what if I take all the titanium up north and then just send it south instead? I'm gonna need a lot of titanium for this. Let's just um, not use this for a moment. I'll just leave it. It's still there, but I'm just not doing anything with it. And then we'll get all this in passing. Alright. So now we have titanium going down here. I'm not actually sure how much titanium this takes. Two. So I also need to connect this to power. And now this will also go over here. We like things being pretty, right? Okay, so now what we can do is instead of this being titanium, let's change this to plastanium. Okay. So now, and we can get rid of all this because the base is full. So, you know, so now I have metaglass and plastanium here, just from this single mass driver. So I'm getting it to base really easily. It costs a little bit of power, but it's all right. Um, notice that I disconnected this and it's still functioning as well. Um, so it looks like this is fine. In fact, there's too much titanium going into this, but it's working great. Now I could even make another whole one of these. Do I do that? Sure, let's, let's do it. I don't know. Uh, builder drones, I need builder drones. Okay, so one of these is only doing left side, one of these is only doing right side. It looks like it's still more than enough. These don't even consume very much sand at a, any given time. I'm not actually sure how much plastanium I need. I think I honestly think that plastanium is kind of like metaglass, where you don't really need a lot of it. Uh, but now I have a really good production of it. So I think that's great. Um, now, unfortunately, this is kind of broken. Like, I'm not, I don't have enough... Um, this isn't enough to support it. Like, I need this to go to more launch pads. Uh, in fact, I could probably afford it now. Launch pad. Large launch pad. So if I did something like this... Bam. I think the defense is fine. I haven't actually looked at it in a while. So now that I have plastanium, I can actually get some pretty good uh, stuff going as well. Now, what I did is I just used large launch pads. Large launch pads have a capacity of, I think it's 150 or something. I don't know, sure. It's long, it's it's bigger. Ooh, I don't have power. There we go. Um, so the deal is that uh, this can send more. So because of that, like the problem with regular launch pads is if I have a full conveyor going of a resource, it won't actually fill this up fast enough. You know, do I have too many resources in here? Nope, it looks like it's fine. Okay, great, yeah, it is still unloading it fast enough. Okay, um, anyways, what I was saying was, if this was unloading, if it was unloading Metaglass constantly, then a small launch pad would not be able to keep up with the throughput of it, so uh, I'm switching to large launch pads just to make absolutely sure that it's flowing all the time. The reason is because if this gets clogged with either Metaglass or Plastanium, then I can't launch other resources. So I could have it happen where, for example, I'm full on Metaglass, but then I don't get any Plastanium, and then I run out because this got clogged. So I have to have some kind of overflow valve for it to make it go away. And I either have to burn it. Right now what I'm doing is I'm launching it, which costs power, but then I can use it on other maps and stuff, so it's cool. All right, so Plastanium is done. So next things to know, like I, my power is like okay. 
But I think what I want to do is I want to do... I want to do even more crazy resources. I'm, I'm thinking what I want to do. I need to figure out a location to do this. I'm thinking what makes the most sense is maybe even do it down here to make impact reactors. This is the nastiest power in the game. So I think that's what I'm going to do right now. And then once I have crazy, crazy power, I can, I can start working on surge alloy. Um, what I might do is do... I, feel, I like this space. This seems like a really nice space to do... Um, I don't know, it could go either way, really. Mm. Which way do I want to do this? So I need lots of titanium all around this. Circling around it. And then surge alloy is also going to take up a ton of space. Um, I don't want to cover up the scrap because I can use it. I feel like I just want to have all my power generation down here. And there's there's titanium right here, which is not enough. There's, there's no way that's enough titanium for what I need. But I can send more down here. And I'll explain what's happening here. Oh, by the way, now I have overdrive projector. Speaking of which, hey, check this out. Um, overdrive projector. So this will increase my energy production over here by a lot. Once these all get done. Yay, look at all that. 5,000 power. Okay, so next what we're going to do is I'm going to make a bunch of titanium and then send it into this carousel. Um, and the reason is because I need it to cool the, uh, the impact reactors. All right. So ideally, what I, what happens is I have a full conveyor or two full conveyors of titanium. Actually, so look at all this titanium. So this is great. Um, it's not quite a full t full belt. It's like three quarters or two two fifths or something like that. But anyways, this is all going to go through here. And what will happen is it will end up feeding these cryofluid mixers. Now these also need water, which is supplied by power. So what will happen is that these cryofluid mixers uh, consume all of the uh, titanium that's going around and then that will supply these things. Now meanwhile impact reactors will, um, they require, where are they even? Impact, re oh I need, oh I need surge alloy. Oh I was trying to get power first, I guess I need surge alloy first. Uh, this is awkward. Well that's, that's probably smart I guess. Uh, I guess I need to think about that. So the deal is, there's two ways I can go about this. I can use, utilize my dudes over here to send product over here, or I can utilize some of these things. Like, for example, if I boost this lead, I need tons and tons, tons and tons and tons of lead. So what I might do is just redo this. It's my power, like, it's fine. It should slowly fill up all these with water. If not, I can throw in another water extractor. I think this will steadily fill it up. It's enough water for that. Okay, so what's going to happen is this is going to make tons and tons of uh, lead go into these things. Right now it only has one output, but I'm going to use it for this over here. So I don't know, uh, I'm probably going to need more lead than just that. But if I send lead here, for example, and then send it up that way, it might be better. And the reason I'm thinking of that is because I have so much, I have some lead on other places. I want to make sure I have more than enough. Copper is also a problem. I, I do, I mean, I have copper right here, and I'm going to need a lot of it, so I guess I'll just go ahead and mine it directly. Like, the thing is, I can use drones for this, too, but drones are awkward. I really need building drones. <laughs> this is just sad. Let's see, what, actually, what do building drones take, anyways? And distributor, or whatever. Boom, okay. <laughs> this is uh, kind of nuts. So what we're going to do is I'm going to send, this is copper. So copper needs to go in one of them. Okay, this copper is nowhere near good. Well, actually, no, that's actually pretty good. Okay, fine. Maybe it's all right. So let's go like this, distributor. And what we do is, let's actually go down like this, whoops. There you go. Okay, let's see how this, how this works. So that should be a lot of copper. So I think the deal is too, and you can just look at these ratios. So I need three full conveyors of copper to support this. Does that make sense? So now, um, and I can do the same thing over here. So do one more. So it's not quite a full conveyor. So I do need more still. Um, and I'm not actually sure how much I need, but I need more. 
what we can do is we can also do the same thing with lead and such as well. So, it's just going to stop powering. Yeah, I don't think I even need any more metaglass. So, I'm forcing a lot of this titanium to go north instead. In fact, I think I even... You know what? Let's make this all go. Let's make this all just go straight in here. Instead. Um, one of the things that I want to have happen is... Let's... Let's boost all this production. This will boost my uh, lead by quite a bit. All right, so I think this is good. Now, one thing that's worth noting is like, like I only have two lead inputs right here. So I have one, but I, mean, I have three outputs. So I need, I need to have, yeah. Anyway, this is obviously going to be limited by these two belts. So I need to have more lead coming. Like, let's just do this. I'm going to have a lead, strictly a lead, a lead duber right here. Okay, so lead, this might even be enough lead, we'll see what happens. So next I need silicone and titanium. So, let's, uh, what's gonna happen is I need to send it through the top. Or something. Okay, titanium, titanium, titanium. I have not looked at my defense in a long time. So that might be something that I should prioritize. Who knows? It's fine! What could happen? Um, next, so we have all this titanium going over here for plastanium, but I can have that overflow over to here too. So it just goes over this way. So now it's finally unloading titanium, which is actually the resource I need the least of, but I do need it for phantom builder drones. Next we need silicone, so we need a whole bunch of it too, unloading. I'm just, I'm using more of these than I probably strictly need to, but I just want to make sure there's no problems at all. I need a ton, a ton of silicone. Okay, so what I just did is I made it so the sand line that's leading over here from the, from this air blaster or whatever is going into these oil extractors. It's sending sand into an oil extractor. You need sand and water. This requires nine sand, nine water per second. These guys produce 7.8 uh, or something like that. So what I did is I'm using three, so it's two and a half, or yeah, one and a half for each. So one of them's in the middle splitting it and then one for each of them. And then these coal centrifuges just require oil. So this produces 15 oil per second. Actually, wait a second. How much does... Is it? Uh, is a coal centrifuge 15? I think it is. Oh, wait. Wait a second. 2.7. Never mind. Wait, well, how many does that do? Wait a second. Anyways, this makes tons and tons of coal. Like, more coal than you know what to do with. So, um, this will easily supply enough silicone for this. In fact, I can probably do a whole nother set of silicone, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, if I have phase fabric, I can just teleport across, but I don't want to do that. So let's, um... Ooh, they're making it through. They're making it through my defense. Bad times. Bad times. Okay, um... You know, just for the sake of, like, not having to worry about it for now. Uh, but I definitely need better defenses now. What that means is I need to supply ammo to it and stuff. I'm working on surge alloy. Oh, you know, I'm back, I bet you my, I'm ammo limited. I'm not getting enough copper to these things. That's interesting. Uh, I mean, that makes sense. I don't, don't know why I didn't think of that. What's my power looking like? It's looking great. Uh, let's just do this real quick, just to be super, super sure. So that's the problem. So anyway, this will, uh, this will resupply it really fast. Now, what we can do too is just increase the, uh, copper temporarily. Great, then this is what I was saying earlier, like, salvos are, are great, they just unload ammo really fast, so they do a lot of damage in a short period of time, but they just use, they go through their ammo very quickly. So it's not necessarily that they do more damage, they just do more damage per second. So they're running out of ammo very quickly now, so I just increased the amount of ammo that's feeding into it really fast. Um, so they were slowly losing ammo over time is what was happening. So my defense is back to being, like, I don't know. Like, another way of saying that is that my, my damage went down to, like, one-tenth what it was. Boss. Flying, bro. Let's see how good this lead does, just by itself. Ooh. That's not good at all. Interesting, is it stuck by the by the wall? Ooh. That's a really beefy boss. Okay, um hmm. It didn't 
blow up anything. It hurt this wall, but that's fine. Uh, that's that was kind of intense. I'm glad I was there for that. Okay, so oh, broke this though, or I blew this up. I think my explosion. I didn't know that my explosion actually destroys my own buildings. Okay, uh, well that's good to know. I need better air defenses, which I'm planning to do. 90 enemies. 90 of them. So this is still- this is murdering air like really good. The bosses I kind of struggle with. How's their ammo doing? Yeah, see they run out of ammo pretty fast. These salvos. The damage they do is good, but they just- they use it all up. So now I have like no ammo there at the end. So I'm gonna have to upgrade to better towers here soon. Um, of course that was the- like the closest guys I was looking at. Alright, so I need sand going to this and going to all these guys. So what I'm thinking I want to do... You know, honestly, like this whole thing is kind of weird. Like... I don't know how much I care. Like if it costs more power... like how much power do I have? 5,000? Like... like what is this? Who cares? Boom. Sand. Okay, these fill up instantaneously. Uh, what I might do, you know, so like this, check this out. So we can go place this in the middle because I will not shoot. Oh, because this is full. Right. How come this stopped? Because I don't have power to it? Like what's going on? Oh, I'm full. I'm full on silicone. Okay, uh, that's, that's fine. This needs power still. Or no, what, what does it need? Sand. Right, okay, I needed sand for this still, so we go... Looks like that's not really enough to... I don't know, man. That's so sad. I I thought this was going to be an insane amount of silicone. It looks like it's not really enough. Um, what I can do, though... Do I want to do this? I was... Okay, this is fine. Mm. There's a bunch of abundance of silicone over here. What I think I want to do is do like this. Say so like overflow gate, and this goes back over this way. I honestly need even more than that. But here we get here we have a full conveyor of of coal, so I think that'll fill it up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I know that was all over the place, but now I have all this this silicone going to this too. Okay, so now I have tons and tons of silicone going here. So finally we can have another one of these bros over here. Boom. Okay, so this should be making Surge Alloy now. Okay, so what we can do is now we can go over here and we can unload. Did I ever make drones? No, I needed silicone. Right. So now it's going to fill up these first pro or no, it's going to go all the way to the bottom. But yeah, okay, yeah, it's working. Great. Okay, oh my goodness. That was actually kind of rough getting all that set up. So now we're sending we're sending Surge Alloy to the base as well. Oh my goodness. Now, one thing that's weird about this is it's only going to make Surge Alloy when I'm full on silicone. But that's fine. Uh, surge Alloy will always... It use, use so much silicone for Surge Alloy. So, um, so this design... I, I see a lot of people try and do this and they can't really quite pull it off. This design that I have here, having multiple inputs like this, and all this lead and copper and stuff like that, will... Um, support eight surge alloy smelters at a time, which is crazy. That is that is insane. I'm out of power. Okay, how is my power now? I'm still negative. Okay, now I'm positive again. All right, this takes way too much power. I need some more power generation. Uh, the funny thing is, this is exactly why I was making uh, surge alloy to begin with. I need just a little bit more, and then I'll, ha I'll have crazy power. Well, that's not entirely true. You know what? I need just a couple thousand, so let's just do more of these. I don't- these are- this is not sustainable. Like, it's okay for now, but this is- this is, needs to go away at some point. So that's part of why I'm hesitating to do these. I'm, wait, I'm waiting to see them get all fired up. Um, now, I think I'm going to super run out of, uh out of lead and copper. So I, I need more copper, sadly enough. Um, you know, it's, it's funny, like, you don't you don't use copper, like, ever, and yet I'm gonna run out. Yeah, see, look at, look at all that lead. I need so much more lead. Um, that's just what this game does, like, you use so much of it. In fact, actually, is this full? It is. 
Let's do this. This might solve the problem. Just need more inputs. There we go. Excess. Actually, we can go down. Sure, we'll use this at long last. Overdrive projector. Now you can only have so many connections for these large power nodes, actually. So you don't always see it happen. How's the water pressure? It's actually not well, it's doing okay. Slowly building up. Uh, so there's two there's two towers I can make. There's meltdowns, which gives me tons of damage in splash. They do tons of splash damage. The problem is with these later waves is they're coming in such big floods of stuff that it's bad. Um so best towers in the game, Spectres. I still only have one one of these Phantom Builder drones. I'm not actually sure how that happened. I I told them to make a whole bunch of them. Maybe I should look at that real quick. Maybe I'll just ignore that, let him do it for a little bit. These were supposed to build. Oh, he has no power. Yeah. So these towers can use, um, whatever it's called. You know? They can do that one thing. Uh, they can use thorium as an ammo, so that's really nice because they just pwn everything. Uh, I actually have a trick for uh, loading these guys as well. I learned this trick the other day where you take physical and liquid bridges and you, what you do is, so a, an output can only be an output, an input can only be an input. So by having like a bridge go like this into this input, then it will, or this is an output now. So it spits it out every direction. So it goes left, right, and it up. And then this one, this one now meanwhile, can go into another bridge. So now this goes up here and then it spits it out left, right, and up. So then likewise, you have the physical bridges doing the same thing. So you disconnect, then go that one. And uh, what this did is now it's alternating back. I know it looks really confusing. What it's doing is it's spitting out both liquid and physical stuff at the same time. So I can use this to uh, deploy both ammo and liquid for my uh, specters. I'm out of surge alloy? Yeah, makes sense. Uh, my hope is kind of in part that they will attack stuff going through here. I need to, now that I have that set up, I have some anti-air now, so I'm I feel safe doing this. So these towers are amazing. They're they're really strong, uh, but they they're really far over to one side, so they're not really even going to be attacking most of the time. But um, what's good about them, and the other thing I could do is I could replace these with ripples. The reason I have these here is because specters, in my opinion, anyways, are like the best anti-air tower in the game. So I I just I'm doing that, and it's also thorium. I have so much thorium, so I'm just leaving it as is for now. Okay. <sighs> okay, I have Surge Alloy. I need Blast Compound. I can finally start working on these, I think. My power's in the negative, too. This is this is just a temporary solution. It's not even like it's not even something I should be using really at this point. I'm trying to upgrade to something better. But I need to keep doing this just to survive. You know, but at the same time, I'm producing a lot of Surge Alloy. Surge Alloy is really expensive, so it's kind of not surprising that I'm having power issues. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break up this mission into three different videos. I ended up with a lot of hours of footage and I cropped it all down, so the end result was I have three hours of actual, like, let's play when everything was said and done. So I'm going to break that up into three videos, so an hour piece. And uh, so the next video is going to be me getting a whole bunch of really awesome power, getting the highest tier towers, getting some of the highest tier um, mechs to help defend with, as well as optimizing a lot of my resources, and starting to use some of that surge alloy for more advanced things. As always, you guys are awesome, have an amazing day, and I'll see you next time.